coach. What can you tell us about how this trade unfolded with Ben Simmons and James Harden? Uh, Malika, it, at the very end of the negotiations today, and they really started in earnest this morning, you know, Philadelphia had lobbed calls uh, a couple times this week, really with no response from the Nets. They weren't countering. They just uh, accepted the offers. Uh, I was told pr pretty quick phone calls. But the conversation changed today as the teams got closer to the trade deadline. And obviously, Ben Simmons what was going to be central to this. And, and Seth Curry had been uh, in this deal. Uh, but ultimately, uh, Matthijs Thibel, I think for the Nets, that was certainly a player you know they were very interested in. And when they weren't able to get him in the trade, I think that's what led to the two first-round picks, obviously unprotected this year, uh, and the ability to defer to 2023 if the Nets don't want to take it mm. this year. And, of course, that allows the Nets to keep it as a trade asset, too, moving forward. Uh, and so I think for Brooklyn, uh, the, the kind of return they got, the picks, the ability to go out and, and do some more things, and Andre Drummond will come in certainly and play a role for them this season. I think the Nets just felt it was time to uh, break ties with James Harden, who they felt very confident was going to leave them. They were very confident, was planning on leaving them at the end of the season. And now, obviously, Ben Simmons comes in, and they've got to try to incorporate him as fast as they can for a team that obviously still – has championship aspirations. Absolutely. And, Woj, you also spoke to Simmons' agent, Rich Paul, today. What did you learn? Well, that Ben Simmons, ben Simmons had already talked to, obviously, J Sean Marks, the Nets GM, but also Kevin Durant. Uh, he's expected to talk to Kyrie Irving here soon. And uh, I was told the message from Kevin Durant was, was very clear. Like, we're, we're thrilled you're here, but we're, we're going to get to work. This is serious business. They are trying to win a title. And I'm told Simmons, and Rich Paul said Simmons is eager to be in Brooklyn, and he'll get here, uh, he'll get to New York, you know, he'll start to ramp up to play. And listen, I think there's still a process here for Rich Paul, for Ben Simmons to get back on the court. But certainly the plan is you've got an all-star break coming, and you've got a, a, an ability now for him on the court and off the court to get into a place that he needs to be to play. But certainly the focus is is get him on the court, and mm. now you're looking at Ben Simmons, uh, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving, and, and Seth Curry. I think especially with Joe Harris's injury right now, I think Seth Curry's even more important. And then the idea of having Seth Curry and Joe Harris together uh, certainly is is impactful for the Nets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming sports and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.